Thank you.
Hello there and welcome to Kemper Bushcraft. As you can see today I'm out in a very uh, different place that I used to come. Uh, this is the moor, uh, we call it Heden, up here in, uh, near Skagen in the northern part of uh, Jutland. It is up here that I grew up uh, from uh, I was four years old to about uh, 15 years old. So uh, my heart is up here. I love this uh, landscape uh, and I love to walk in it. I like to uh, have a great view. Uh, I can see uh, very long and I like uh, there's no not much tree up here. You can see these pine trees are very uh, crooked uh, and it's because of the the wind that is always coming from the west. And today it's very windy too. Uh, so uh, yeah, I planned a little lunch here and uh, nothing I have to cook. But I will lay it out so you can see what a Viking uh, would uh, could have uh, brought with him when he made these uh, trips. Uh, it's something that uh, can last for a long time. Uh, it's a snow can or anything. So, uh, well, I'll lay it out so you can see that. And I actually also plan to make a cup of coffee, but it's very <clears throat> it's very dry here. So I won't make my fire here. Uh, when I'm finished with my lunch, I'm going this way up. Uh, in the domes and I think uh, if I can find a place where there's sand and uh, not much wind I'll make my coffee there but if I can't make it it's all right too uh, yeah it's really a nice weather today <clears throat> the Sun is shining and it's about 20 degrees and it's uh, in the start of September uh, we have what you call an Indian summer now uh, some places in Denmark we have 25 degrees Celsius at this moment so it's awesome yeah. When I come here, uh, there was a, a, a deer that uh, sprang up, that ran up and away. And I don't know if I, I catch it on my uh, video, but I think there's a deer family that's staying here. I can hear them out there walking around. And of course, I'm uh, annoying them because this far away from any civilization. So uh, yeah, they have uh, peace and quiet out here unless I'm disturbing them but they'll survive that yeah but I'll just smoke my pipe a little bit and then I'll show you what I have brought for lunch today And uh, the first thing I have, you have some uh, dry berries, cranberries, and uh, yeah, I didn't know if I could find some fresh berries, but as you saw, I did that. And then I have some, uh, then I have some um, nuts, and uh, yeah, I'm sure there's nuts uh, in this uh, portion that are not available in Denmark at the time the Viking lived here, but ignore that, yeah. And then I have some dry meat. That I can eat. And of course my my fresh berries. I'm not sure what this is called in English. We call them Raulinger. If I find out, I'll definitely uh, write it down here somewhere. But these berries is something that is very typical for this area and I love them. And then last, but not least, I brought some bread with me. Some flatbread that I made home and uh, yeah. This is my lunch for today, uh, dry meat, uh, nuts, a dried berry, fresh berry, and uh, some, uh, some bread.
And now I think I have enough firewood for making a cup of coffee. You saw I uh, collected some in the beginning. I didn't know if I would come to a place where there were uh, firewood, but here it is and I can smell the resin. So I think it's almost fed with this one. Yeah. So now I'll see if I can find a suitable place for making my coffee. And uh, this is actually the small size uh, fire anchor from TGM Metalworks. He sent me this uh, together with some other stuff. Among them the road split uh, spit uh, holder I showed in uh, our overnighter with Martin. But this one is smaller, lighter and uh, yeah, I think it'll do. Um, it seems very rough. <laughs> robust so I can't see why I shouldn't be able to um, to hold my caldron here. Perhaps if it's a bigger one, three or five liters, then it will be a problem but this one is only one liter and small. So yeah, let's try it. Yips. Uh, 
blown down here too. Really good firewood, as I said. There's a lot of resin in, fat wood, but um, yeah, I think it's safe here. Have you noticed my bag, uh, my Viking bag? I got some fur from a friendly uh, uh, subscriber in Denmark, Blanca, she's called. And she sent me a lot of fur, uh, different kinds, so I put it on here. I think it looks cool. Thank you very much, Blanca. I appreciate that very much. Now the coffee is beginning to cook. Soon I'll be able to have a little cup of coffee. Yeah. And I put some water over this uh, when I'm finished here. Now I can just relax. Just let the coffee rest for a minute and then it's ready. Sand all over. And I forgot to mention, this is uh, the whiskey coffee from Lemmel. Um, they sent me a couple of bags of that, and uh, well, it's my favorite coffee. Those of you who have followed me for a long time know that for a couple of years ago, I tasted it the first time, and uh, yeah. But it takes a long time to uh, produce this coffee uh, from Lemmel. They uh, take the beans, coffee beans in uh, whiskey barrels, empty whiskey barrels, and let it be there for uh, several months and rotate it uh, once in a while so that the beans uh, take the flavor from the whiskey and uh, put it into the coffee. And I can tell you it tastes really good and it smells good too. So if you're into coffee and whiskey, this is the coffee. It's a bit expensive, but it's because uh, the long uh, time to make it. So. Let's go, everyone. Hmm. Yeah, and a couple of videos ago, I uh, showed you my new boots uh, from Grimfrost. Uh, it's called the Hedeby Heidebu boots or shoes, and I really like them a lot. They are Nice to walk in, and I bought these because uh, my old shoes, uh, also bare, they're cool and they're very old school, but uh, they're not good when I'm going far. So uh, these boots are like uh, ordinary walking boots almost, and it's, uh, yeah, before I got uh, a 
hurt in my feet and this this pair of boots are really awesome so yeah I like it and again it's because of you my subscriber that are using the link to Grimfrost and uh, then I get a, 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 a gift card so I can buy these stuff and these uh, boots are actually bought for the money that I got from your sale so thank you very much I appreciate that very much yeah Hedeby old Danish town in northern part of uh, Germany now that uh, was yeah you saw my video from that Well folks, this was all for now. Yeah, thank you for watching Kimba Bushcraft and Viking Heritage. It's been a wonderful day here, but this terrain is very difficult to walk in. So I'm sweating a lot and uh, yeah, taking a long time, but it's worth it. So uh, yeah, I hope you like this little video and I hope to see you again on the next one. Bye bye.